Hey, my name is Dr. Franz Barnes and this is... Hi, Danielle Carr, your dietitian. So today we are talking about why counting calories is from the past. We don't need to count calories anymore. Don't count them at all? How do we know what we're getting? Well, calories in versus calories out still matters. So okay. I've got to be fair to that. It does still matter. But I remember back in the day when I was in high school, I counted calories like crazy, like it was a problem. Like there was like an, I think it was an eating disorder type thing there. Let me know if anybody's had the same issue. I know many women especially have. It was a book, it was very much a control thing. And then it went on through college. And then that's when my fitness pal came out. I might've just aged myself. So I got really into my fitness pal and tracking calories and every calorie mattered. And it would, I mean, even when I went out with friends, I never really relaxed as much because I was concerned about the calories I was eating because that is what we were taught as dietitians in college. But not only that, that's what people knew mattered. It's you, how many calories you're having and where 1200 calories came from. That's a whole nother story. And so many people realize or think, oh, I have to have 1200 calories to lose weight. But when it comes to losing weight and when it comes to just having calories in general, Counting calories does not matter. There's so many things that affect us with counting calories. And that can be, or sorry, with the calories that we eat. So think about it today. What did you eat for dinner? What did I eat for dinner? Um, we had some pizza. Okay, so you had pizza. So many people would think, oh, that's so many calories for a piece of pizza, right? Well, that, that one really threw me off a little bit, actually. Well, I, I figure it's the size of the slice that you're eating, the toppings that you're carrying on your pizza uh, has an idea of how many calories that you're estimating, right? Um, I think when weight loss, uh, it comes down to basically what you're eating and how much you're burning. So if I'm an avid runner or like if I'm like Michael Phelps that swim miles in the pool, I can eat all the pizza I want, right? Um, kind of. So it's really about health. So when it comes back to losing weight, you've got to get healthy before you can actually lose weight. So that's why the counting calories isn't as important as we first thought it was. Right. It's really about how your body metabolizes it because your body, meta everybody's body metabolizes food differently. Mm. And it depends on various factors. It depends on how much sleep you get in, in the night. Mm. It depends on um, your stress level and your cortisol level, which brings it into hormones. If your hormones are out of whack, your body is not going to process calories or metabolize calories like it normally would. Hmm. If you've done a lot of diets in your past, your metabolism does slow down. So that's going to mess with how many calories that you're burning. Um, what else? Autoimmune diseases, hmm. thyroid issues. If you have something going on with your thyroid, your body's going to metabolize nutrients differently. Well, so slow. yeah, it's more about what is in the food that you're eating. Hmm. What is, is it the, it's so I'm not going to get into car macronutrients, carbs, fats, and protein. That's important. But what is the amount or the quality of fat that you're eating? What's the quality of the carbohydrate you're eating? So carbohydrates, we've heard of high glycemic index foods, right? Right. Okay. You foods with carbohydrates, some of those can, those foods like let's say pizza. Okay. Might spike that blood, blood sugar really fast and really high. high. Right. Yep. And so, and especially if you've got issues going on with your body, well, that really high spike in blood sugar is going to, all of that sugar that you ate is going to be absorbed and in stored as fat. Mm -hmm. So it, it's very, it, what I would take from this, from our talk is it's, it varies. Everybody is so different. And again, it's not about counting calories. Calories in versus calories out does matter. There's still a metric system there. But what really matters is the type of foods that you're eating, the mm. nutrients that you're eating and how your body metabolizes it. And it's important to go to a dietitian or talk with a doctor that knows what they're doing. Dr. Fonz is incredible at that. But really talk with somebody that's educated that knows and can figure out where your body is, how does your body metabolize food, and what type of fats do you need, what type of protein, what type of carbohydrates are best for your body. Well, I'll tell you, so I'm new at this, just say if I'm new at this, and I'm setting a New Year's resolution for 2020, trying to lose weight. So it's, it, if it matters, not necessarily how many calories I'm counting, and counting calories doesn't matter, 
What calories are the good calories? What are the bad calories? Which should yeah. I stay with? Tell me how to do this and I can be successful in 2020. I love that question. So some of your best calories are going to be good fats. And your good fats are things like um, salmon, mm. avocado, nuts, flaxseed oil, right. olive oil, avocado oil. Those are really good fats that, have, that are high quality. They're great for your brain, mm. your um, skin, your eyes. Let's put it this way with fat. So our brain is mostly made of fat. Oh wow. Our cells are mostly made of fat, our inner lining. Our skin is mostly made of fat. Mm. Our body needs fat, but it's important to have the good amount of fat. So, so those are some good fats to have. What about the guys out there, man? We don't eat all this avocado or all this other stuff. Tell me what kind of meats we can eat. Oh. Uh, men. What kind of meats we can eat that be good for us? Okay, so we're getting into the proteins. Protein. So anything like, oh, go ahead and grab that meat real quick. All right, so this is 93.7 ground beef. All right, we pulled it out of the freezer for you. Yeah, take a look. <laughs> so any, good stuff. anything lean, that means it has, it's 93% lean, that means 7% of fat was left in this meat. So <clears throat> really, you should have farm fed or uh, grass fed meat. Another story, another day. But um, this would be your best type. Or, we'll see there's a turkey down here. Okay, so there, see how this says ground turkey, lean, and somewhere it says white. 93%, 7% fat, no preservative, no hormones, no steroids added into it. That's the best you can do. If you, can, if you buy real turkey, turkey is, you might as well just have real ground beef. Mm. Okay. What about chicken? So anything lean. So I'm going to say chicken breast is your ideal source because it is so lean. However, if you get chicken thighs, thighs really just pull this out of the <laughs> freezer. So thank you. Hey, let's show everybody um, what it looks like. Same Only 617 thing. with your car. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a good deal. Yeah, not a bad price. So normally we buy grass-fed beef from a local farmer. But it's Doug's farmer, see, farmer that we love. But um, I have some frozen just in case. Bought at the grocery store because um, it's not going to kill you. But this one is with the skin on, so we probably just got a deal on this. But what I would do is, t when you're having chicken thighs, take that skin off. That's Unless extra calories, you think? It is. You're mm. going to have at least about 100 to 120 calories and solid fat in just the skin that you really oh, don't wow. need. If it's grass-fed beef and it's straight from a farmer, I'm actually okay with the skin. A lot of dietitians will like send me hate mail for that. It's fine, whatever. But the skin really can be a good thing as long as it's the correct or the chickens were fed well. They're grass fed. They're cage free. I can tell you, um, Doc, is that I really believe that we need to have more videos on what's the good stuff to eat to make sure we can be successful in our 2020 goals of weight loss. Don't you agree? Because it seems very complicated. And what we should go with, maybe we have a rule of just chicken video. We run back with a video of just chicken. Tell you about the skin and grass fed and yeah. um, antibiotic free and stuff like that. Cage free. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, I think that's a great point. And I'd love to hear what, if you uh, want any certain videos or you want to hear some more information on something in particular, that would be good. Yeah. So to finish up on the protein. Yes. These are some great sources of protein. Um, there are things like soy protein, right? Like tofu and tofu. edamame is a, actually a good source. Um, I'm not a fan of soy. It actually mimics estrogen and increases the estrogen response in our body. Mm -hmm. um, so I do not think it is good for you. But some people, like vegans, that's what you need. And that uh, go you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, then let's get to, you asked me what are the good calories. Sorry, I got an itch. Okay. What are the good calories for? What did we miss on? Carbohydrates? Yeah. yeah. We can talk about carbs. Okay. What do you want for car calories in carbohydrates? The best source of carbohydrates are your fruits and your vegetables. Mm. But vegetables, 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 vegetables. Did I say vegetables? I think she said vegetables okay, a couple good. times. Good. Because your vegetables that have higher fiber, so broccoli, any leafy green vegetables, spinach, kale. Those have fiber, so your body actually uh, doesn't absorb them. Oh, that <laughs> yeah, nasty he hates stuff. kale. Oh, wow. So, is it the fruit has sugar? Is that the problem? The sugar, sugar, sugar? 
I yeah. think that's the issue, right? Right. And fruit's not bad for you. Any berries are going to be your best sources of fruit. Blueberries. I love those. Blueberries. Yep. Yeah, strawberries. Blueberries yeah. So we know now that Dr. Franz loves blueberries and does not like kale. <gasps> I should make you a kale blueberry shake. I bet you'd like it. Probably not. We'll do a video on that. Okay. We'll see. You have to let the world see. Maybe throw some chicken in it, too. Make so, it taste better. Yeah, focus on um, definitely vegetables, your leafy green vegetables, um, any non-starchy vegetables are really good for you. And your body does not, again, absorb them as fat. And a lot of that is to do with probiotics in your gut. Something else we can talk about at another time. Take home point, consistency. The big C. Let's stay consistent. Let's do something every day. Um, we're going to stay on this diet. We're going to try to pick these foods. If we fall off one or two days through the week, it'll be okay. But we want to be on this five out of the seven days of the week to make sure we increase our, our chances of being successful. Don't you agree? Sure. Yeah, your body actually physiologically doesn't know 24 hours in the mm. day. So when studies say that you need 1,200 calories or 1,400 calories or 1,500 calories, for the day, your body really doesn't understand that 24 hours. So it's really about, you could even think of it as how many calories are you having in that week? Again, we're not counting calories, but when you had said that about five out of seven days a week, um, yeah, I, I understand that and can agree with that on different levels. Um, and I liked your thing of consistency. I think one of the things to be consistent about is to kind of pay attention to your body so pay attention to how you're feeling. When you're feeling satisfied, you're doing good. Right. Right. Also, stay consistent with watching our videos. That's what's going to help you make the be big successful. The big I like that. Yes, definitely. Right. <laughs> also, Bring too, it back in. 2030 Fitness, stay consistent with your health coach, your health instructor. That's the only way you're going to really be successful in 2020 is trying to get the have the best people around you to make the best decisions so you can have the best outcomes. Mm. Oh, that's so true. You got to have that support system. That's yeah. great. So I hope this helped. Um, and I hope it makes some of you feel very comfortable that calories, counting calories is, it's gone. It's in the past. Like us, leave some comments yep. and add a review and have us be more successful and better for you guys. Okay. Again, my name is Dr. Franz Barnes with Kearney Park Pharmacy, and this is... I'm Danielle Carr, your dietitian. Thank you for watching.